Welcome to NextStar TV, a free resource that uses video tutorials to explain IT topics. My name is Emily, and today's video is Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 9 Text Box. In this video, I'll be covering how to create and edit text boxes. Okay, so today we're going to be working with text boxes, and what text boxes are is pretty self-explanatory. It's really a box um, full of text, and why they're great is because you can control the position of the block of text in your document, so you can place your text block anywhere that you want in the document, and then you can proceed to format and um, change the shape and borders and the coloring of the text box, so it's really convenient. So the first thing that we want to do is show you how to create a text box. So there's really two ways that you can do this. Uh, first, you're going to go up to your Insert tab, and then you're going to come over to the Text Box button. And it's going to pull down a menu of pre-created text box that Microsoft already makes for you. So you'll just scroll down and see if any of these fits your need. Say, I like this one. All you need to do is click it, and it'll insert into your document. And to add text to your text box, you're just going to select whichever section you want to um, add some text to. If you just start typing, you'll see that your text will already take the predetermined format um, that's already set up in your text box. Now, if for some reason you don't like this section of your text box and you don't like it and you want to get rid of it, all you need to do is click the section that you don't like, come over to this little gray tab, highlight it, click the delete button, and then that section will disappear. Okay, the other way to create a text box um, is to draw one. Now you'd want to do this if for some reason you don't like any of the templates Microsoft has created for you or you have a very specific need for your text box. So to do this you'll go over to the insert tab, you'll come over to text box, and you'll come down to draw text box. And what you're going to notice is that your mouse turns into a crosshair. And so this will allow you to draw the text box on the page. So wherever you put your mouse that's where the text box is going to appear. So say you want it right here, all you need to do is click your mouse, drag it to the size and shape of your text box, and once you release your mouse, you'll see that the text box appears. And then there's a cursor and you're able to edit and add text to your text box. So once you've created your text box, there's a lot of different functionalities that you can do with your text box. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is text box shape. Text box start out as rectangles but you can change them into any shape that you want. And how to do that is you're going to click up on the Format tab and you'll come over to Edit Shape of Text Box. You're going to want to make sure that your text box is highlighted. Once you click it, you're going to click Change Shape and then you can come down here and choose whichever shape you want your text box to be in. Say I want my text box to be in the shape of a heart, you'll just select it and you'll notice that your text box takes the new shape that you've picked. Now you can also change your text box styles. If you come over to Shape Styles, you'll notice all these different outlines. And all you need to do is um, pull this arrow down, and it's going to show a lot of different options for your text box. So um, the pictures will display whichever theme you want. So you can either choose to change the outline of your text, you can change the inside fill of your text. These are all just kind of some pre-created options for you. And if you just um, click one of the options, it'll change your text box right there automatically. Now in this section you can also change the um, shape fill which is going to change the um, background color of your text box. So um, you can mouse over whichever color and again it's going to show you what your text box is going to look like with that color. So to select a different color or fill for your text box you're just going to click the color. Shape outline will allow you to change the outline color of your text box. So again, if you mouse over the colors, you'll see that it changes automatically. And shape effects. Um, this just allows you some different um, options for your text box. You can work with shadows, so you can have like an inner shadow on your text box. You'll notice that. Soften your edges, um, have a glow, make your object 3D. This just gives you some more options for what you want to do with your text box. So now not only can you change the background um, color and fill of your text box, you can also change how the text is going to appear in your text box. So say we have some text here in our text box. Um, you're going to go up to the Format tab, and uh, under Text Fill, Outline, and Text Effects, um, these will all affect how your text will look. So you can come, Text Fill will change the color of your text in your text box. Text outline will change the outline color of your text and text effects will again let you do the shadowing and the reflection. There's also a word art, art option 
and um, this will just allow you to kind of pick some different word art if you want that look for your text box. If you're interested in how to change the margins on your text box, um, you can come over to select your text box, right click, click format shape, and this is another place where you can change the fill and the line color and the line style, some shadow reflection, other options. But to do margins, you're going to come down to text box and you'll see that you have the option of how you're going to align your text box. You can change the text direction on your text box and you can change the um, left, right, top and bottom margins on your text box by adjusting them up and down here. Now the next thing you're going to want to know is the text wrap feature. And this determines how the text box overlaps with regular text in your document. So if you come up to your format tab and you come over to text wrap, um, there's going to be a pull down menu and you'll have different options of how to align your text. In line with text, the text box is seen as a big chunk of text, so it is uh, in line with other text. Square wraps the text along both sides of the text box. With tight, um, text wraps around the text box. Through is tighter than tight. It's really great for a regular text box. Top and bottom means that the text will show above and below the text box, but not on the sides. Behind the text will allow text to run on top of the text box, and in front of the text will allow the text to run behind the text box. And just so you're aware, um, you can also change the height and width of your text box up under the format tab and you can rotate your text box under the format tab, choose your alignment and over here you can change the text direction or how you're going to align your text. I already showed you some other ways to do that but this is just another location that you can do that as well. Thank you for joining Nextar TV for Microsoft Word 2010 User Guide Lesson 9 Text Box. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to visit www.nextara.tv for other tutorials or subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash nextara.